Tonight, a beloved retired New Mexico police officer is being remembered. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the crook who crashed into him, and it wasn't the first time he's trying to outrun police. Leitner woven into the fabric of our, of our department. Uh, he was a godfather to a lot of kids in our department. That was just how he was in, in, in our department. Retired Las Cruces officer J.R. Stewart was on his motorcycle when state police say Daniel Lowell and Trista Schlafly slammed into him, killing him. The pair was running from cops. It started along I-10 near Las Cruces yesterday when Border Patrol agents at a checkpoint noticed their license plate came up stolen. The two took off driving the wrong way on the interstate. A family with two kids in the car pulled over, worried they were going to get hit. But state police say the crooks went after them, carjacking the family at gunpoint. They would lead police on a high-speed chase through Las Cruces, often going the wrong way on the road when their path eventually collided with Stewart. Stewart retired in 2014 from Las Cruces PD. Fellow officers gathered today saying the department will never forget him. You know, I didn't sleep well last night and I was like every I was kind of in a fog. And to me, what happened last night is kind of like the world stopped spinning for me for, for an instant. Tonight, we also know why police in Colorado Springs had been looking for Lowell. Breaking in the vehicle, stealing uh, purses and credit cards, and anything they, they can, and then using the credit cards to go purchase things and get gift cards at uh, some of the retailers nearby. Police boxed in Lowell at Pikes Peak Community College two weeks ago, but they say he threw his truck in reverse, smashed into a cop car, then hit another car and fled, getting away. Funeral services for Stewart will be held Saturday. Lowell and Shafley are facing a long list of charges, including homicide by vehicle, child abuse, and armed robbery.